It's your boy Soap Guys TV. Millie, I'm back with another one. So I was doing some heavy research, family, on interoperability tokens. I was looking for a project that was very similar to Quant, but hadn't yet seen that run and had a lesser market cap. I wanted a project with the same fundamentals that was very similar to Quant, but just hadn't seen that run yet. We're going to talk about it. Make sure you stick to the end of the video. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep your favorite crypto and door to door entrepreneur in the algorithms. And leave a comment and let me know how many quant you personally hold. Now, everybody knows I'm bullish on quant in the interoperability narrative. You can see here quant is sitting at $150 with it which is extremely undervalued based on its utility and use case in which it brings to the cryptocurrency space. Also, Quant has some of the best tokenomics here in cryptocurrency and is sitting at a 1.8 billion evaluation. So as I was doing my research, because I wanted to find you guys some small gems that was actually listed on crypto.com. So this project family is listed on crypto.com. Very, very, very access. Um, easy access easy to buy and we already know that when some of these projects are listed on the exchange it gives it an opportunity at more volume so millie what are you talking about but before we actually get into this project we got to understand what interoperability is so why am i so bullish on interoperability check it out interoperability in cryptocurrency refers to the ability to different blockchains networks or digital assets to work together seamlessly this allows for the transfer of value and information between different systems without the need for interruptions or conversions. This allows for the greater flexibility and choice for users as well as the potential for new use cases and applications. And you can see here, family, an example of interoperability, and I'm not going to read all of it, but I want to give you guys an example. Now, you know how when you go to use your MetaMask and you um, try to buy an ERC20 token, you have to buy Ethereum first, then transfer your Ethereum over to your MetaMask and then purchase the token. Well, with these interoperability projects, they're making it easy for you to just to buy out these tokens flat out. So instead of having to, let's say you wanted to grab a, a project that was on Binance Smart Chain, instead of having to take that Ethereum, send it to the exchange, change it to USTD, Tether, or USDC, or any type of stable coin, then by Binance, you'll just be able to flip and swap Ethereum and Binance using these gateway bridges and interoperability. So it's really, really solving a solution. So that's why everybody's raving about utility and the use case for interoperability. And the three projects that's actually leading the way are Polkadot, Cosmos, and quant so these are all the top interoperability projects let me know in the comments if i miss any that you guys personally use so you know i don't know who's going to be the winner out of interoperability it's looking like it's you know pretty pretty tough between quant and polka dot and then you got cosmos right there but the project family that i'm focusing on here i have them on my personal watch list full transparency have started to dca in is icx which is icon now icon family is sitting here at 22 cent family um 135,000 people on the watch list here a market cap of 210 million dollars so it hasn't even crossed that billion dollar evaluation like we're seeing from a lot of these projects the circulating supply is 945 million of 952 so very tight tokenomics very tight market cap compared to dilution of the that compared to the diluted market cap we love to see that now when in doubt we zoom out what caught my attention about icon icx not only that it was an interoperability token but it's been around a while it really never seen its run other than 2018 it didn't even really have a bull run here in um 2021 but you can see here we are in that range of accumulation and the low the local yearly low was about 15 cents so what i'm seeing here is this project starting to coil back up right i mean think about it it's only sitting here at 22 cent and if we go to all-time highs at the peak family it was it, uh, it keep bouncing off 11 bucks 11 12 dollars so 22 cent to 11 12 bucks 
that is our, that's good gains that's real real good gains now will it hit back to its all-time highs that's the gamble that's the chance that i'm taking i have conviction that icx will start to heat up they actually um they actually uh, are working on this um this new utility with the project called the x call and i want you guys to go do your research on the x call and you'll be able to see why i'm so bullish on it you can see here checking out the website it says connecting blockchains and communities so we love to see that interoperability they even have a recap in a 2023 outlook which i read and that's where i got where they was working on the x call and all the new stuff so as you see right here it says decentralized fast secure and interoperability um icons blockchain enables cross-chain communication between smart contracts enable blockchains start bridging your assets between icon blockchain binance smart smart chain near protocol moon river and many more so right now you can really swap any type of cryptocurrencies between Binance, Near protocol moon river and icon so there you go already working with some pretty good projects there and as you see you can actually build on top of icx as well so do your own research i think this project has a little bit of potential here and i'm banking on it because i feel like it it's floored okay so a lot of these projects are already up 5x 10x 15x so some of them still haven't run in those narrative i know a few artificial intelligence projects that haven't run yet based on that narrative and this is an interoperability project that's extremely popular family but just hasn't had its break yet so that's what i'm banking on i'm banking i'm taking a risk on it it's having its break break not financial advice just my crypto journey you can see here it has 193,000 followers so again pretty popular and very active on twitter we want to see these projects active on twitter and you know what i'm saying you know what more can i say you know this project seems to still be very very active and on the up and up so i'm going to take a flyer on it um these are a few reasons icx can potentially compete with something like a polka dot and quant number one building a strong ecosystem and partnerships now we know what quant they got some of the best partnerships in the game and financials uh financial institutions are starting to look that way as far as um gapping that bridge between traditional finance and cryptocurrency blockchain so that's what quant is doing um two offering a strong interoperability capabilities i'm not really sure about polka dot interoperability i know it's huge they got the pair chains etc etc i just have to personally family do more research three attracting a strong developer community four focus on specific use cases five providing scalable and secure network six being cost effective this can help icx to provide unique value added services and features attract users that's what we want to see and create real world solutions so kind of like we're seeing from the oracle projects we want to see those off-chain utilities being solved within interoperability and i expect icx family to figure it out and um solve a lot of those problems so i'm a bank on this project y'all let me know what y'all think about the uh the narrative interoperability and yeah if if you miss quant do your research on this project and you will see why i am a little bit bullish on it and i'm thinking like okay i didn't get as much quant as i wanted to get but maybe i can hedge a little my investment on quant with icx pair those two interoperability tokens together and enjoy the gains all right y'all let me know what y'all think about icx quant let me know in the uh, in the comments your opinion on interoperability in crypto man man we got we got a uh, we got to deal with fed power it looked like we may get a little bit of uh relief headed up into this fomc so right now a lot of people are aligning themselves um and, and putting themselves in a position right now to have those cryptos on the watch list looking to deploy because nobody really knows if we're going to be in a bull cycle bear cycle crypto winter it's a lot of macro noise going on potential recession uh some companies had good earnings some companies had bad earnings you got mass people losing their jobs mass companies firing laying off people so it's just a crazy world right now and then crypto is pumping y'all let me know what y'all think man. it's your boy so guys tv millie i'm out